CataractCoach.com. Let me teach you some amazing surgical pearls. Welcome to my operating room and let me show you how we do things. Good morning from Beverly Hills. We're here ready to do surgery. Now, first thing is, when do you get here? Time on the watch. It's about 10 minutes before six. I've already been here for about 20 minutes. So I get here at least 45 minutes or even an hour before the scheduled start time. And why is that? To prepare everything, to set up our machines, check your microscope, let me show you. So we start off in the morning. Here's the microscope. So I check my PD, set that PD to where you want it. You can check the oculars, make sure they're both zeroed out if that's what you need or dial in or whatever refractive outcome you desire. Camera's here and ready. We'll check the oculars, make sure that it's clean there, clean your oculars, set up the pedals, the pedals have to go here, the vacuum machine has to be turned on, the recording system, if you're gonna use that, the monitors, all this has to be set up. The anesthesiologist will come in and take care of his or her um, duties on that side. And then we look at our list, and this is what I wanna show you today. This is a patient list. Now I've specially anonymized this version for our video. And you can see, we make a list of all the people who are gonna have surgery today. And so let's go through this list, bit by bit. So here's the lineup that we have. Now this form, who made this? Did my assistant make it or my nurse? No, of course not, I made it. Cause I've got full responsibility. So let's look at these one by one. So it's the patient name. There's a picture of an eye showing the steep axis. I'm gonna do an astigmatism treatment, LRI 75, 0.75 diopters at about 75 degrees. It's the right eye, that's the lens, that's the anticipated outcome. The next one, the patient already had one eye done, so I put a note there, the first eye was done just last week. And there's the goal on the, uh, the lens. Here's a torque lens, and again, no LRI this time, but we'll have axis of alignment that's shown there. And we go through this special situation, this patient has six cut RK. That's gonna make things a little bit different. And we can go here, this one, I have a backup lens, we still haven't decided versus a trifocal or EDOF lens. And we go through the list here. This patient had a prior pars plano vitrectomy. We're gonna use a three-piece acrylic lens, goal of about plano. And remember I told you about adding a half drop to the eye wall calculations in patients who are prior vitrectomy. So we kind of go through the list here, various types of lenses. And this is very helpful to me because it is all created by me and I keep everything straight. Now, what do I do with this list? We're gonna tape the list up to the wall here. We tape it here, one, two, three sheets, and then the patient's gonna be here. So let me show you on me. So the patient will lie down here and this sheet is here. So now you understand with this sheet behind that patient's head, there we go. Why do I put those pictures that way? because the right eye is on the side where the patient's right eye is, and the ones that have left eye, it's where the left eye is. And by doing it this way, I'm able to sit here and operate and know where I should make my incisions so as to not intersect the LRIs. These are two things you should be doing when you come here to do surgery in your operating room. Number one is that sheet, and number two is this thing full of lenses. Let me explain you more. This device is a simple stick that has four lenses on it. And the first lens here is plus a half diopters, plus a quarter, then minus a quarter, and then minus a half. And we use this so we can see, just to get a quick idea, what the patient's refractive outcome was from the first eye. If you look at this sheet here, this says the patient had the first eye done last week. We also aim for Plano. So now I can go here and look at the patient today on post-op week one from that eye and ask the patient with the plus a half, is it better with or without? With or without? And they'll say, oh, without. And then similarly for the minus, I can say with or without? With or without? And they'll say, oh, without. So I can understand that the patient's pretty much on Plano or on target. Other eyes, sometimes we don't wanna aim for Plano. So in this patient, the first eye ended up absolutely Plano. And so now the second eye, we're gonna make sure it ends up just a little more minus for that EDOF lens. So this is something that you can use. It's really easy, very cheap. You can buy it somewhere online. 
Don't ask me where, you do your own Google homework, but just so you can get a quick idea in your pre-op area, what's the refractor's result of the first eye? Let me give you a little refresher on the settings that I use. So I set the machine up here. I basically use every other setting. So I use CHOP to do the cataract. I don't really use the other one, so I double click my foot pedal to cortex, which will be next, and double click again to viscous removal. Now I do have polish mode for cap polishing, or epinucleus mode, a sculpt mode, if you want them. But I typically don't. So what I'll do is I'll just start here on chop. And let me go back for a second here. I'll show you the pedal. I'll just double tap it. Cortex. And then go to cortex. And at the end of the case, double tap it. Oh, and I go to visco. So that way I have all settings available, but I'll only use those three for most cases. And if you don't know how to set up all these numbers, you don't know what that means, you better go to cataractcoach.com and check out our settings, the FACO Fundamentals. We have a 10-part series that explains all of it. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?